I'm Darren, and this is three things you need to know for Wednesday, September 27th. Target Stores will be closing nine of its stores in four states due to theft and crime. Organized crime is threatening the safety of both employees and guests, not to mention the effect to the bottom line by shrink from theft. Locales included are Manhattan, two in Seattle, three in Northern California, and three in Portland. Getting tired of the same old dips for your McDonald's McNuggets? Starting October 9th, McD's has two more choices to drown your nuggets in. Sweet and spicy jam and mambo sauce. Sweet and spicy is a sweet pepper with cayenne and Szechuan pepper and apple cider vinegar. They call this one breakfast inspired. Mambo sauce is a tomato based sauce with a blend of vinegar, spice and sweet flavors. Think barbecue meat sweet and sour. JP Morgan settles another sex trafficking suit, this time by the U.S. Virgin Islands, for $75 million. $55 million goes to Virgin Island Charities, and the other $20 million goes to attorney's fees. This after settling an earlier suit for $290 million with one of the victims. Epstein had been a longtime customer with the bank. Trade while you sleep and across time zones with Arbitrage Trade Assist. Sign up today at arbitragetrade.com. Arbitrage Trade is your trusted source for business, finance, and tech info. Why was I feeling depressed when I had so many reasons to be happy? Well, guess what? Anybody can feel down. But that's not the time to just put on a brave smile and pretend like nothing's wrong. It's the time to share your feelings with your friends, your parents, your favorite teacher. In the meantime, there's a resource that helped me get back on track. For some great clues about starting your comeback from depression, visit yourlifeyourvoice.org. And this little piggy went to my heart. We recently featured a blog post about a pig kidney being transplanted into a man who was in a coma and brain dead. In a quick update to that story, he was able to live on life support with a pig kidney for a second month. Earlier this month, surgeons at NYU removed the pig kidney and returned the donated body of Maurice Mo Miller to his family for cremation. It marked the longest a genetically modified pig kidney has ever functioned inside a human. Dr. Robert Montgomery, the transplant surgeon who led this experience, said, Two months is a lot to have a pig kidney in this good a condition. That gives you a lot of confidence for the next attempts. On September 20th, 23, surgeons transplanted a pig's heart into a dying man in an effort to prolong his life. Lawrence Fawcett, a 50-year-old Navy veteran, is only the second person ever to undergo such an experimental operation. He was facing almost certain death from heart failure, but other health problems meant he was not eligible for a traditional heart transplant. To make this transplant attempt in a living patient, the Maryland researchers had to receive special permission from the FDA using the compassionate use process reserved for experimental emergency procedures. Mr. Fawcett, who retired as a lab technician at the National Institutes of Health, agreed that he fully understood understands the risks of this procedure. Tune into our podcast this weekend to hear more about this story. Hi, I'm E.J. Williams. Each year, millions of animals are abandoned and more than a million are euthanized before they can be rescued. Organizations like American Humane are working to harness the healing power of the human animal bond as animals can be trained as life-saving service and therapy dogs to help veterans, the elderly, and children with special needs to overcome the obstacles of everyday life. To find out how you can help give animals and the people they help a new leash on life, please visit AmericanHumane.org. It's time for the pick of the day. Arbitrage algorithms have signaled a future uptrend for Morphosis AG or ticker MOR. The company located in Germany has various antibody, protein, and peptide technologies that it uses to discover and develop both proprietary and partner drug candidates. The company has more than 100 drugs in its wider pipeline that are being investigated for a variety of diseases. As of closing on Tuesday, MOR was at $7.26 a share, 52-week high of $8.67, and a 52-week low of $3.17. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.